In this video, we will show you how to properly install your shoe platen, the proper way to prepare and pre-treat the shoes, how to adjust the shoes on the platen, and the proper settings to use in the RIP software. Carefully grab your platen and place it on top of the printer table and make sure that the platen is touching the lateral guide rails of the printer table. Then, press the standby button from the control panel of your printer to move the printer engine forward to prepare and connect the shoe platen in the rear area of your printer. Grab the cable tie mounts and the hoop and loop ties and slide the hoop and loop through the cable mount. Then, remove the cover film from the cable mount and place it on the center area of the rear blue cover about 1 inch from the back edge. Press firmly to secure the cable mount. Grab the other cable mount and the hoop and loop and place it on the right side blue cover about half an inch from the back edge and press firmly. Next, grab the VGA cable and connect it to the back of the shoe platen and tighten the cable screws. Then, carefully place the cable over the cable mount ties and secure the cable with both of them. Trim the cable ties to avoid any interference with the printer. Then, grab the controller and connect the power cable right next to the power switch. Next, connect the VGA and tighten the screws firmly. After that, place the controller on the side panel of your printer next to the keypad and turn it on. You should be able to see the orange light on the controller after turning it on. To prepare the shoe platen, pull the front knobs at the same time to release the top frame and hold it until the frame stays up on its own. Grab the blue masking tape and place it over the top surface of the shoe platen to protect it as much as possible from the double-sided tape or from any ink spillage. After you are done, cut the excess tape if it is required. Then, place the double-sided tape over the masking tape. And remove the top film. The purpose of this double-sided tape is to hold the shoe in place during printing. Next, we are going to show you how to prepare the shoe before printing over it. Grab the shoe tape and cover the sole of the shoe from the side you are printing. Also, cover the front and back of the shoe to avoid any ink overspray. To pre-treat the shoe we recommend our Gamut Dark Cotton pre-treatment if you are using the FreeJet 330TX Plus printer. Or you can also use the Direct Dark Cotton if you have the FreeJet 330TX printer. To apply the pre-treatment we recommend using the Wagner sprayer gun to apply manually over the desired area you are printing. Carefully spray the pre-treatment over the side of the shoe that you are printing. And make sure that you cover the area properly without missing any spots. After, you can wipe the excess with a clean rack. To dry the pre-treat, use a heat gun and dry the whole area. This should take a couple of minutes depending on the amount of pre-treat you apply. For the best results, please make sure that the shoe is completely dry before printing. To place the shoe on the shoe platen, carefully open the shoe and slide it into the side surface of the shoe platen as much as possible following the back shape of the shoe. Then, press and hold the forward button from the side that you are working on. In this case, we put the left side first. Slowly the side wing of the shoe platen will start moving forward, until the arm grabs the shoe on its own. 
Hold the shoe from the top where the side wing is grabbing the shoe to make sure that is properly placed. Gently stretch the shoe until it is flat and firm. After that, manually stretch the top part of the shoe to stick it over the double-sided tape. If you need to readjust the side wing, hold the forward button for a couple of seconds until the orange light turns on. Do the same process with the other shoe. Then grab the top frame with both hands and make sure that the knobs are released. Press firmly until you hear both knobs lock in place. This might need a lot of force. So please make sure that you lock both at the same time to ensure that the top frame is secure before you start printing. Next, inspect the top surface with a ruler to make sure every area of the shoes is even and flat to avoid any head strikes or any damage to the printer. Then, measure the final printing area to adjust the image to the proper size. To prepare the image on the shoe template, please follow the instructions and the links from the user manual. After you adjusted the image in the template, open the file in the RIP software. Select the top center position in the key RIP window, and make sure that the size of your image matches the print area of your shoes. Then select the proper environment according to the color of the shoes you are printing on, in this case. We will use the dark cotton QM environment since the shoes are gray. To adjust the settings go into the print setup menu, and click on the properties button to adjust the top margin to 1.25. After that, go to the device options menu, and change the print direction to uni on the white under base layer. And right below change the dot size from SML to L. This will allow you to print a little bit further between the shoe and the print head to prevent any head strikes. You should be able to still get a good quality print. After you're done change the settings the same way for the color layer and press OK on both windows to close the print setup. That's all we have to do to adjust the RIP software settings. The next step is to adjust the print head manually on your printer. This will help you prevent any head strikes. As a note, we don't recommend to use the auto height adjustment to print on shoes with the shoe platen. To adjust the height manually, Press and hold the front button of the printer keypad and release it when the print head is about halfway through the shoe. Then, press the buttons, function, and up to release the print head carriage and manually move the carriage closer to the edge of the top frame. Press the up button to adjust the print head as close as possible to the top frame. But, make sure that the print head doesn't touch the frame. Then, carefully move the print head manually to inspect the whole surface of the print area to ensure that the print head is not going to touch anything during printing. You should also move the print head forward to check other areas. This is a critical adjustment so please take your time to make sure that everything looks good before you print. After, press the function button to send the carriage back to the home position. Then press the standby button to send the printer to the print ready position. After this you can send the image to print by pressing the print button on the RIP software. During printing we recommend to keep checking the height by looking at the distance between the print head and the shoes, in case you need to lower or adjust the height while printing. After the printer is done printing, release both of the front knobs at the same time of the shoe platen and hold the top frame until the frame stays up on its own. Then, press and hold the back buttons from each side of the controller to release the shoes from the platen. It is not necessary to move the side wing all the way back, just enough to remove the shoe. Then, carefully detach the shoe from the double-sided tape to fully remove it. To dry the ink on the printed shoe, use a heat gun and carefully go over the whole printed area for a few minutes. The time to dry the ink depends on the amount of ink but usually a couple of minutes should be good enough. The way to find out if the ink is fully cured is to carefully touch the ink to see if you can feel any moisture or wet ink. If this is the case keep drying the ink until it is completely dry. The final step is to remove the shoe tape. If you want to print the other side of the shoe follow the same instructions. This concludes the process for using the shoe platen 
If you have any questions or concerns please contact our tech support team by emailing support at omniprintonline.com. Thank you for choosing Omniprint.